Welcome back. This lesson is on energy. And we're going to see that energy is only energy when it can do something. Okay? In fact, the, the word energy means it can do something. So imagine energy to be like money. If money is spendable, if it's yours to spend, then you can do something with it. Okay? If it's not yours to spend, it's like it doesn't exist. So energy really is thought of as something that can do work. And work is where that there has been motion done on an object, uh, giving it more or less energy. So let's, let's imagine, for instance, um, a rubber band. I pull back a rubber band, okay? I give it some energy. I store some energy. I've done work by pulling the rubber band. Now the rubber band has energy to do work of its own. It can flip you in the ear, whatever you want, okay? So energy and work we're going to see is combined. So we have to define work, what that means, and then energy is the ability to do that. What we have noticed about the universe is that there's stuff in the universe, there's things in the universe, there's stars and books and tables and chairs, but there's also energy, okay? So I can blow up the books, I can blow up the, the tables and the chairs, I can burn them, okay? I can do stuff to them to where that they're not the same. I can drop them from buildings. So a energy is, has something to do with the object, but it is allowing that object to now have an ability that it didn't have. So if you put energy into something, it can do something that it once could not do. Right? So you raise a, a, uh, a book above your head, and then you drop it, and now that book can fall. Okay? You've stored energy, and now when it slaps the ground, it's going to make a noise. It's going to heat up the ground a little bit. You're going to be doing something with it. You made it move. Okay? While it was moving, it was doing things in the air, whatever. So you can take water and put it on the top of a water wheel, and then turn the water wheel, and then make something else happen. Okay, so energy can be transformed from one form to another. You can have different kinds of energy. You can have chemical energy like batteries. You can have heat energy. Okay? You can take heat energy and make steam and then make steam run a turbine, which is mechanical energy. And then that turbine can be attached to, say, a generator and make electrical energy. So you can change energy from one form to another. And then that energy ultimately is doing something on an object. If you were to ask a physics teacher what the, what the definition of energy is, uh, inevitably the teacher would say it's the ability to turn work, to do work. So eventually we're going to need to know what work is, but what can I do to this object so that it then has energy? Okay, I need to somehow invest in this object that this object itself could have energy. Right? So if I put uh, a bean in my bean shooter, Okay, and give it some energy, now that bean can move, it can do something, it can then poke you in the eye or whatever a bean does when it goes out of a bean shooter. Okay? You can also turn something into heat. So um, electromagnetic waves from the sun is energy because when it strikes, say, a solar panel, it could turn that, that uh, electromagnetic radiation uh, into electrical energy. So anything that is, uh, has the ability to do work on an object is energy, okay? Now remember, energy is doing with, dealing with something. It's not just matter and energy uh, in the universe. Really, there is just matter and energy. So matter, in fact, Einstein says that matter can be turned into energy, okay? When in the sun, the matter, from, the matter that when the hydrogens are squeezed together into helium, the, there's less mass at the end than at the beginning, and that mass went into energy, and that energy then shined out of the sun. Okay, so that's what that idea. So matter is anything that has mass and occupies space, and energy is the ability to take that matter and do something with it. So work is, involves a force and a distance. So if I pick up a book over my head, I've put that book in a gravity field and raised it up over my head. I've done work on that. I've stored energy into it. I've exerted energy by doing it. But now I don't have to do anything anymore. That book has energy 
And if I drop it, it can you know hurt your toe or it can make a noise or something. I can do something with it. If I take electrical charges and separate them and then give them a wire and put them back together, as the electrons flow in that, in that line, it can light a bulb, it can run a machine, it can do, do whatever, okay? So it's a force exerted over a distance. So work's definition is W equals FD. Work equals force times distance. So if I take that book and I lift it a certain distance over my head, okay, I've given it energy. I've done work on it by putting energy into it. So two things occur whenever work's done. You put a force and you move that force through a distance, All right? So if you move a sandbag twice as high, you have your, the, the distance is twice as much. That means if work equals FD, force times distance, and I've doubled my distance, then I've doubled my work. If I double the load, if I make it twice as heavy, then I've, I've taken F and multiplied it by two, then my work is also doubled. So if you double the force, you've doubled the work. If you've doubled the distance, you've doubled the work. Okay? If you've doubled the force and the distance, you've quadrupled the work because it's just a simple math, math uh, formula, W equals FD. So a weight leader, weightlifter raising a barbell from the floor does work on the barbell and now get out of that barbell's way because it can do work as it falls. You've, get, you've put energy into it and you take energy out of it as it falls. So the units of work is newton for force, meter for distance, so newton times meter, so a newton meter is work and that's also called a joule. And we're going to see that you do you, you put energy into something, you do work on it by putting energy into something. So work is joules, and also energy is joules.